Susan Groff here. I'm at the 2019 Writers' Digest uh, conference at the Hilton Midtown in Manhattan. I booked this conference because I want to pitch my short story collection to agents at the Pitch Slam, which is going to be tomorrow. I went to the Pitch Perfect session this morning and got some tips on pitching, which I will link below. Um, one of the tips that's good for any writers' conference that I thought was really helpful is that um, I don't like carrying anything is in your name badge to put your business cards in the back of it and then if you are meeting anybody and you happen to not have your bag with you you can put their business cards right in your name badge and then organize them at the end of the day so i really liked that um, one of the strange things i just learned about um, i was at a session on writing and um, selling your short fiction and flash fiction is that there's actually a genre called flash nonfiction, which I had no idea about, so I need to learn a little bit more about that. Um, but let's go on and see what else happens. So I finished up the first day at the Writer's Digest conference, and then I had tea with uh, Jackie Cangro, who was the editor for my collection last year. And now I'm checking out the new Hudson Yards. Obviously, I'm out of breath from all of the stairs. I did not do the elevator. <laughs> so if you wanted to come here, if you go online, it's about a two to three week wait to get free tickets to come inside here. Otherwise, it's $10 on the day of. And I think it's worth it because I don't know any other place that's like this. So I'm at my hotel room and I am rehearsing my pitch. And, but I had trouble when I was at the Chicago Writers Workshop figuring out like how to start the conversation because you're not like not saying good morning or good afternoon to the agent or having a little bit of small talk or maybe there's something random happening that you want to respond to that might set you off your train of thought if you've got like your script down that you're gonna do. Kind of like me where I feel like I need at least my last line to remember my next line. If you're ever memorizing a poem or a story or anything like that, you probably know what I mean. Uh, and so I pretty much start my pitch by saying, I am here to share with you Rose Window. Having been to this type of format before, like I know I see a lot of writers who really rely on their notes. They really can't memorize their whole pitch. Uh, I very rarely see anyone who could do that. So um, I purposely, at the Chicago Writers Workshop, I had my notebook in front of me and I did not have it open to my pitch. I had it open to a blank page and anything that the agent was sharing, I was writing it down. Uh, I wanted to, to show that, you know, I valued what feedback they had and the direction they were giving with where to send, you know, some of the stories to and when so that I made sure I followed exactly what, what she had explained. So um, for today, this is a little bit of a different format because you know we're basically waiting in line to get to the agent that we want to talk to. Whereas at the Chicago workshop, you know, they, um, not that you know, but, but uh, at the Chicago workshop, they had a timer and if, you know, when it was time for your pitch, everybody left the room, everybody being the writers, and just the agents were in the room. So you were in a large room and you could theoretically overhear other people's pitches, but you were really just focused on your own, but you didn't have someone waiting and a whole line of people waiting to, um, to then take your seat. You knew you had 10 minutes to sit there and chat and, um, and beyond your pitch, you could go on about you know, your experience and any other projects that you had going on. So I know today's gonna have a very different feel. Um, the, the other thing is that um, I'm still a little tired. Um, I had, don't think I had shared with you that my flight coming in the other night um, was four hours delayed and I didn't arrive until 2 a.m. At the, at the hotel, so I, I didn't have much sleep yesterday. 
and I just felt like today, yesterday was really long and uh, I didn't want to sleep too late today because I wanted to practice um, and go over all this. So we'll see how it goes. So we just finished um, the Pitch Slam at the Writer's Digest Conference. I pitched four agents and fortunately had three full read requests and uh, one partial. So I'm excited to send those in. And Cooper Howe was also here from North Carolina. And uh, how was your experience? It's good. I've done yeah. uh, three so far um, and gotten two um, requests. So I got one full and then another like three chapters, 50 pages. Yeah. Um, and then one really useful 30 thing. 30 seconds left, um, you've got 30 about seconds how left. I have one that sounded like us were just reading and like memorized like lines. Yeah, yeah. And she said, just sort of just talk about like, just talk about like I'm just talking to you like or somebody. Yeah, so person. that really helped sort of with the next one where I got a, another request, mm -hmm. sort of, you know, you know, so yeah, calm it down and sort of not just like read exactly okay. what's written, but sort of just sort of lead into what they were actually looking for. Okay, everybody, so, time to yeah, move we'll on see. to the next I'll agent. try and get another one it's before it does. Yeah, so. we've got like 10 minutes left. So yeah, yeah, I wanted to keep you then. Go yeah, find the yeah, table. Yeah, yeah. Cool. yeah. Thank you. Oh, yeah. And as you can hear from the bells, they're, they're trying to stay on time. We do have the 90 seconds to pitch our stories, and then we have 90 seconds to, to chat with the agent. But it seems like every table is um, kind of following their own time. Sometimes good, sometimes bad. Um, when I time my pitch, it comes out to be about 39 seconds, and then if I go into a little bit more, it goes into more of like the 45, 50 second. So I did have a little bit of time to spare and chat with them. Um, this is the, the ballroom, and the way that it's set up, um, as you can see, like there are two agents at every table, and then right above um, their table, there's their name, the agency they're with, and then it also has um, underneath it what they're looking for. So that was really helpful because like while I'm standing in line, I can read about the other agents and see if there's a good match. And I saw some that might have been good for me to pitch, but at this point, um, there's only a few minutes left and the lines are fairly long. So I just wrote down a name or two and I can always query them later and say I didn't have you know, time to pitch here and that, that can help too. So yeah, we've just spent an hour in here um, waiting in line and pitching and this is why I came here and I feel like so far it was a success and we'll see how the responses go. So uh, Cooper and I just sat down next to someone else from the Triangle area of North Carolina. So we've got uh, Tess Duck. Tess, oh, I usually go by Tess. Tess, Tess, Tess Duck. And again, Cooper Howe here. And we just finished our Pitch Slam session. I feel like Cooper and I both learned that like yesterday they told us at Pitch Perfect not to go to our first agent first at the Pitch Slam. But I did not want to listen to that. And I, think, I did. And Cooper listened to that. But, but I still got him. But he's still, he's still liable, but still yeah, some people didn't have the time. I think that the next session is about to start. But um, was there something else that stood out to you? Um, I mean, just, you know, keep going, really, I mean, <laughs> that's what, you know, like, everyone, yeah, pretty doing. much, yeah, and treat them like people, you know, they're not super scary, or, you know, they, they, they want, they want to say yes, so don't give them a reason, you know, to say no, so, yeah, I know it's a lot to say, but relax, which is, 